These are brands slash company accounts that I love and what I think you can learn from them as a social media manager. First up is the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. Wildlife conservation isn't a topic that people necessarily go wild for, some people might think it's boring, but they really have mastered their Twitter. They stay culturally relevant with these avid elementary memes, but it's also linking back to what they're about. Even this like hiring an intern post is just funny. I'm just gonna leave this tweet here. Next up is Teletubbies, cause Teletubbies really understands their audience. The people who are watching Teletubbies are probably under the age of 10, but their audience on Twitter is obviously a lot older than that. So they're playing into the nostalgia of those who have watched Teletubbies before. Again, cultural relevance and just so cute. Like Midnight's in Teletubby land, adorable. Again, staying relevant with the new Flowers music video. I think they're just doing a really good job understanding like the platform, the audience, because Twitter, people come on there for a laugh and it's obviously not targeted towards the people who are actually watching Teletubbies. They understand that it's people who probably have nostalgia or even like parents who have children who watch it. Okay, and then TikTok, we're talking about the Washington Post. They know that a lot of people get news from like Twitter or TikTok or whatever other social media. So the way they're sharing news is through funny videos that are informational, but also entertaining. The most important part is that they're short because people do not have the attention span to be reading through an entire Washington Post article anymore. Okay, and this is a smaller brand you might not have heard of, but this is Euphoria. They went viral for their color changing blush oil. But I think what Euphoria is doing really well on their TikTok is they leverage that viral content to build community. A lot of their content is also featuring their CEO, Fiona, and the content isn't all like selling content. She talks about like makeup tips that she learned from Asia while she was there. And she also talks a lot about the rationale behind why she's building these products and how they came to be, which people are really interested in because they want to connect to the brand on a deeper level rather than just this is a product, buy it. So those are some of my favorite brands that I follow on social media. Let me know about any other good ones that I should check out and that you really like.